Here I have my phone Prime Plus and let me show you how to bypass a Google verification the following device so how to remove the factory reset protection. As you can see after the hard reset operation while you're activating your device at some point you will see the following window, the following screen and you can bypass this step and so you can input the email and the password to your Google account but let me show you how to skip this point let's activate the keypad, let's choose an add button and let's hold down this key choose Android keyboard settings let's select text correction tap personal dictionary choose English tap more let's type a random word and let's highlight this word choose more key right here and choose assist Choose no thanks for the following information and as you can see now you can use the Google searcher. So let's type in Chrome and let's tap up the following app, the Chrome app. Let's choose accept and continue, choose no thanks. And now you may use a Chrome on this device. Let's input the following phrase, test DPC tap search choose the first link as dpc 2.0.6 let me scroll down and choose download ap key right here Scroll down and as you can see your download is starting, wait a few seconds, choose update permissions, tap allow, tap ok with the following warning, choose open, here we've got the downloads folder, let's tap this file, the first one, install blocked but let's tap settings, scroll down and let's enable the unknown sources, so let's use the switcher read the warning and let's allow unknown sources by tapping ok let's go back and choose this file one more time now select install test dpc is installing tab accept app is installed let's tap open let me choose setup device owner right here and choose setup. Tap encrypt. And now you have to charge your phone and plug your phone into the charger. So let me do it. Let me connect my device to the charger. Right here. And you have to wait a few seconds until the device will be charged enough. When the MyPhone Prime Plus is charged enough, you can choose Encrypt Phone. Let's tap it twice just for confirmation. And now the device is encrypting, the phone is erasing all personal stuff and also the factory risk protection. So let's just be patient and wait until the whole operation will be completed. Excellent, as you can see the welcome panel just pops up, so let's go through the initializing setup process. Let's tap next. Let's keep inserting SIM cards. The phone is trying to connect to one of the mobile networks.
the verify account pops up again so let's use an add button right here again choose android keyboard let's choose text correction personal dictionary english tap add button let's highlight this word choose assist let's type in chrome again Now the test DVC pops up again and is trying to download this application again. So that's what we need. We should download this app again. Let's scroll down and tap OK to the following warning. You can choose replace the, replace the file, tap open and let's install our app one more time, choose install, test dbc is installing, sometimes you have to do it twice, let's tap open, choose setup device owner, tap setup, tap setup again, tap ok. Let's go back this time and as you can see the not sign in option pops up, let's choose setup phone, choose setup phone again, then let's press power key, choose power off, tap ok, wait until the device will be completely switched off and afterwards let's use the power key again, let's hold down power button wait until the device will be ready to use Excellent, now you may unlock the screen, choose skip to adding an account, tap next, choose finish, choose got it, and as you can see now you may use your device, but you've got disabled some applications, so let's choose settings, scroll down and under personal tablets choose backup and reset, then select factory data reset, read the information on the screen and choose reset phone. Now let's choose erase everything to begin the hard reset operation, let me tap it. And now the phone is performing the hard reset operation, let's wait until everything will be done. Excellent, as you can see the welcome panel pops up again, so let's go through the initializing setup process. Let's choose English, let's start next. Let's keep inserting SIM cards. Choose skip. Let me select a Wi-Fi or you can do it later in settings, so let me tap skip, skip anyway. Choose next. Next. Don't protect your device, let's tap next, choose skip anyway. Let's leave all of, all of 
settings enabled as it was in the default one and let's tap next tap got it and that's it as you can see now you may use your device let me just see if the device has some google accounts added let's scroll down choose accounts and as you can see there is no google account so you may start is to use your phone thank you for watching please subscribe our channel leave thumbs up under the video